quite interesting when uh, James Fortune solicited his song to me. He came, and at first, I really didn't um, uh, wasn't interested in signing him. I did like his work ethics. I liked the idea that he kept coming time and time again. He was very aggressive about trying to get me to work with him. I did tell him that he needs to go and and um, look at maybe writing a few more songs and put on his album and let me listen to some new songs. Of course, I heard uh, one of the songs at the local college radio station. I called the station and I asked, uh, you know, who, who uh, wrote this song, You Survive, or who's singing this song. And at the time, you know, it touched my heart. So I called him up and, um, and he came and we did a deal. When we did the deal on him, we had, um, you know, my, my expertise was definitely in radio promotion. So the song You Survive, it had a national airplay all over the country. I think the song went to number two on uh, Billboard radio charts. But we had an issue with the product selling. So we had a lot of airplay, but we really didn't have many sales from that piece of product. The reason that we felt like the record didn't sell much, we thought it was a great song, as a matter of fact, we know it's a great song, but in, uh, with a new artist, it takes more than airplay. It takes you connecting to your fan base. So at that time, we would have to go from city to city and church to church and sing the song, You Survive, because people were hearing the song, but they did not connect it to the name James Fortune. So this is where you have to have a lot of marketing and a lot of branding. We got on a one church tour, and the one church tour was a very unique idea because it took us into venues that already had people in it. So it was already packed with people uh, that was already there. So. Our immediate impressions, the impressions that we got from all of those uh, members of those churches that built, helped build his brand at that time. And then people started connecting uh, You Survive to the name James Fortune. And uh, I think at that point we built a fan base for him that set up the next record and the next song, which was Transformation and I Trust You. So now that we have the avenue of social media, we don't have to travel to uh, churches in 40 different states because now I think or I feel like the consumer are very well connected now to the artist and it's just a touch of a button that we're communicating with the consumer now. So social media, all forms of social media, you must learn and understand how you can take that form of marketing and let it increase your brand.